Hi everyone, welcome to Foundation Week, where this week I'm focusing in on all things complexion, foundations, concealers, all of the things. I am using this as a way to incorporate all of the requests for found particular foundation products, particular comparisons of certain complexion products, all of the things. So, for today's video, we are going to be comparing two luxury, clean beauty brands, Westman Atelier and OG Luxury Cosmetics. We're going to do side by side. I picked and pulled products that I found to be exact comparables as much, as best as possible. <laughs> going to get into details about all of the things. I got excited when I saw a lot of you ask me to do this. I never thought that I would find a product <laughs> or another brand that I would deem, you know, appropriate to compare to Westman Atelier. But let's see. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Shall we hydrate and begin? I'm drinking a little Saratoga, a little bubbly. Perk my spirits up this morning. <laughs> so allow me to tell you a little bit about each brand and then we'll get into our side-by-sides. So with Westman Atelier, you're going to get clean beauty that's going to enhance you, enhance what you already have, all while keeping it simple, pretty easy, and effortless makeup. High quality, of course. And when it comes to OG Luxury Cosmetics, they too are all about clean beauty, simple makeup that's going to enhance you all while keeping everything effortless and beautiful. So let's start off with their skincare, their skin prepping products. I have here the OG Vitamin C Elixir, and this is the Westman Atelier Skin Activator. Let's talk about the packaging of the skincare products. This one from OG, this is a glass bottle that does come with a dropper. It's simple, it's clean, nice and easy to work with. And the Westman Atelier Skin Activator comes with its classic Westman Atelier packaging and this is refillable, so when time comes to replenish, you just buy the refill. Simple, clean packaging on both. So let's start off with a bit of skin prep. So we'll do this side, my right, your left, Westman Atelier, and my left, your right, OG Luxury Cosmetics. So to start, I'm gonna go in with a pump of the Skin Activator. There is its texture. It is a true serum. So the Skin Activator is a hyperpotent serum that floods your skin with 12 actives to soften the fine lines and boost firmness and give good hydration. Do like a little invisible line down the face. <laughs> so here is what the skin is looking like right after applying the Skin Activator. The serum, it's quite light, so it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. So you can apply this, wait a minute or two, and then continue on with the rest of your uh, makeup for the day. It's not a product that's heavy that you'll have to wait a little bit for it to fully absorb into the skin. You can continue on with your um, routine rather quickly. I'm almost, almost halfway on this, but the thing about it is this is not a product that you need to use a lot of. That is what I have noticed with my skin type on this. So I do about, well it's only half my face. I'm going to do a drop and a half on this side of my face. And as always, I keep my products on my fingertips because it doesn't get absorbed. If you go in and on the palm, you'll start to get your products absorbed and you lose a little bit of them. Now this vitamin C elixir, it's said to be a powerful plant-based concentrate that's going to target dark spots and visibly improve the complexion, amplifies radiance, and brightens the skin. Here's how the skin looks right after applying the vitamin C elixir. This too gives really nice hydration. It is lightweight. It's a little bit more of an oily texture, but not a greasy oily type of texture. Now both products, because they're nicely hydrating, they're going to plump the skin. And if you have fine lines or dryness, it's gonna give them that boost of hydration and just softly smooth the lines. I will not tell you that there's a product and make your lines go away, it's a miracle but I'm gonna tell you that it will smooth things out. 
and it'll look a little bit better. So you'll feel better in turn. You're definitely gonna get a little bit more radiance with the vitamin C elixir over the skin activator, but both sides are nicely hydrated and ready for makeup. I have here the Sculpted Complexion Stick and the brush, wait, what's the name? <laughs> I thought it was ready, I'm sorry. This is the Blender brush from OG. This is a very nice multifunctional brush. You can use this to apply your foundation, concealer, contour, blush, highlight, literally everything with just this one tool. I've had it for a while, I've been continuously using it. It holds up well after washing, there's not a ton of shedding. It's very soft. It's not overly dense, so when you are using it, your products blend very easily, very nicely. So that's the blender brush, and we will use that for all the things today. So again, this is the Sculpted Complexion Stick. This is a mineral pigment moisturizing stick. Now when it comes to stick foundation products, you can use them a couple of different ways. You can apply them directly, you can put a little on the hand and then tap and blend it in, or you can go in directly with your brush and blend it on the skin. So you've got a couple of different options that way. I'll share them all with you. But let me give you a swatch. This is the shade Maple. And there she is. It's a creamy stick, but it's not overly soft. Sometimes sticks can be too creamy and then they feel heavy and feel like they're literally clogging your skin when applied. This isn't like that, thankfully. So on one section, I'm gonna apply it directly. Now this does give buildable coverage, but it's very natural, very skin-like. I'm gonna blend it with the brush. Blends very nicely, very easily. There is no scent to this product either. Yeah, it doesn't smell like anything. It blends very easily. Now I'm going to pick up with the brush. Build it up on the brush. And then apply it to the skin. I find this way, this is my personal favorite way, I find this way to give me the most control. And what I mean by that is I'm able to keep it sheer if I want to, solely focus on particular areas that I want to build up. And just like when you apply it directly, it does to blend out very easily and very nicely. This truly is fuss-free makeup. It's not a ton of coverage, but you can build it up just where you need it. Definitely want to say it's a medium sheer coverage, but it builds up nicely where you need it to. So that's just one light layer. I am going to go in, pick up some more product, and build up in this area because you can still see all of my freckles peeking through. Let me get a little closer. It's very skin-like on, too. <laughs> so let's build up. So you can see it does build up nicely, all while remaining skin-like. And it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything heavy on the skin. I am big on how things feel because you're going to be wearing it all day. <laughs> so that's important. Now I am able to tuck away, hide away my little freckles that I don't want to allow. Build up where I need it. You can still somewhat see them, but I'll take it. <laughs> so the direct application down here, this area from the brush to the skin and built up. You see how beautiful and skin-like? It's gorgeous. Okay, now as we continue our multiple different methods of application, let's go in with the good old fingers, the tools that never leave. They're always available for you. What's great about using your hands when your makeup, I know it's a little messy, but the warmth, there's, it's just when it's warmed up to your skin, it melds in so easy, so nicely. And I do think it looks really beautiful too that way. So I am just patting this into the skin.
which it does very easily, very effortlessly. And right here, I want just a little bit more. So I'm going to go in and build right there. And just like that, it's all gone. Got a lot of forehead. <laughs> so I got to make sure it's covered nicely. Now you can use your complexion stick for your concealer. So I'm going in on my ring finger, which is the weakest finger. So it's not going to put a lot of pressure on my under eye. And I'm going to focus on the darkest area, which is right there. And just, and then lightly blend out. Going with just a little bit more because I don't want to build it up and put too much either. Now this is going to give me coverage but keep it very natural, very easy, very everyday appropriate. Very, very, very skin-like feels great and it gives a very natural finish to the skin. I don't want to say it's overly dewy and it's not it's not it's not luminous and it's not matte. It's a perfect healthy ear skin. You drink your Saratoga and you're you're well. <laughs> so far the OG side's looking pretty good if I do say so myself. <laughs> Vital Skin Foundation Stick from Westman Atelier. Now, I usually use the shade X, but I recently picked up X.5, and I like it. I'm a little bit more tan in the summer months, so this is just a little bit more, and it's working great. So This is the shade I'm going to be using, and I still use X, but I like this for the summer months. So really quick, side-by-side -side, uh, packaging. Let's talk about it really quick. So OG, Westman Atelier. OG, I want to say it's a very gray with a touch of a beige undertone with this little gold here as the top. It's magnetic as well. OG has the gold lettering. Westman Atelier, it's like engraved into the packaging. And the Westman Atelier packaging is just a little bit bigger. It's 0. 3.4 ounces in the OG and 0 0.31 ounces in Westman Atelier. So take note. Westman Atelier's packaging up top, it too is magnetic. It has a little gold rim here. And then this has always been my favorite little detail right in here on the cap. You have Westman Atelier in on the cap there. Both packaging wise, very nice. And I can see why they are comparable in that aspect. <laughs> But there are differences between the two. All right, so let me swatch X.5. It is creamy as well. So we'll do the exact same when it comes to application. And I'll use my blender brush from Westman Atelier. There's a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. I love my Westman Atelier brush. I have all of them. I do have a dedicated video to them if you want to check it out. Um, but this too, multifunctional, you can use it for a ton of different um, applications, you know, other cream products, all of the things. So love that. Now, let's do a direct application of the Westman Atelier. One thing I will say is the Westman Atelier is a lot creamier and I feel like I get a little bit more coverage so I have to be careful when I apply it directly. The Westman Atelier Vital Skin Foundation Stick has skin calming actives, it's buildable in coverage, and it has a second skin finish. So that is our first application. I'm going to go in with just a little bit more. I have a bit of darkness around my mouth. And just apply. And let's blend. Let's go in and apply from the brush. Same way like we did on the other side. This side, I feel like my freckles and imperfections are a little bit more intense than they are on this side. So I'm gonna build them up. 
build up in that area to show you the coverage. But as you can see, we're blending very easily, very nicely, still looks like skin, and that's the best part. I do feel that with the Westman Atelier, I feel the finish is a little bit more luminous, just a little. So that's our first layer. I'm gonna go in and build up. A little friend there on the nose. We gotta put that away. <laughs> Feeling very comfortable with this amount of coverage. I can still see my skin. I still feel like skin. Everything feels really nice. But here is what it looks like. Again, very skin-like, buildable in coverage. All right, now for the forehead, I'm going to go in with the hand, our favorite tool. I need just a little bit more right there. Just going to build up right there. Very nice, very nice. So here are three methods of application with the Westman Atelier Vital Skin Foundation Stick. Hands on the forehead, from the brush here, and then direct from the stick down here. Just like the OG Cosmetics, you can use Westman Atelier as concealing product as well. I have a different shade that I'm gonna use for my concealer. Um, from Westman Atelier, I'm going to use shade number nine. I'm just going to pick that up on the finger. I don't want to put too much, so I don't want to make it too brightening and too different from the other side. I want to make it where, can you even tell the difference between the two products, you know? I'm just going to take a little and blend. The great thing about the Vital Skincare Stick and the OG is that they're so hydrating. Using them on your under eye doesn't feel heavy and uncomfortable at all. Side by side of the two. You can't tell the difference. To the naked eye, you'll never know. <laughs> but Westman Atelier and OG Complexion. I do set my under eye. I always do, so I'm going to. The Westman Atelier Vital Skin Care Powder. This is the shade Pink Bubble. The great thing about this powder is it's a skincare powder, so it's not going to take away from your natural luminosity. It's going to just set the product in place. It's very skin-like and very natural. I'm just gonna set my nose because my nose does get shiny and in reality I would set it. I won't set the rest of the face so that you can see how the products look. I just set the under eye and my nose, my t-zone area. Let's move on to contour because both brands have a bronzer contouring type of product. So the OG Cosmetics, this one is called the Sculpted Face Stick and Westman Atelier, it is called the Face Trace Contour Stick. Side by side, this is what they look like. The OG has a six month shelf life and Westman Atelier has a 18 month shelf life. We have 28 ounces in OG and 21 in Westman Atelier. Here's packaging side by side. Both are magnetic. Westman Atelier has the little gold here and the Westman Atelier in the cap. Love that little detail. The OG. This one, in comparison to the foundation, it's more of the gray versus the foundation stick that is more it's gray with a beige undertone. So if you have everything just all together, you will be able to tell the difference between 
that's my foundation and that's one of my blush highlight contour sticks. But of course you can always turn them upside down and you see the color and just grab what you need. So let me do swatches of the contour sticks. Again, this is the Sculpted Face Stick. This is in the shade Copper from OG. That was one swipe. Let's build it up. There we go, Copper. And then the Westman Atelier. This is in the shade Truffle. The OG and the Westman Atelier. The colors are quite similar, but the OG I feel is just a hair darker. Just a hair, just a hair. Westman Atelier Face Trace Contour Stick softly sculpts your cheekbones. It's blendable and buildable, and it's foolproof with a natural finish. So let's apply. Perfect appearance for a no makeup makeup with the multi-use skin loving sticks. Rich in a hydrating blend of essential fatty acids and oils. They're lightweight, Illuminating formula utilizes green coffee oil to stimulate collagen. They have a buildable glow to accentuate your natural features. All right, we're sculpted. We're bronze. We brought some warmth back to the face. It's going pretty good so far. Let's move on to blush. So I have two here from Westman Atelier, one from that little mini kit, and then this one. And I thought that they were worth comparing to with the OG. The OG one, it's, this is another one of the sculpted face sticks. That's their line where they have the highlighters, the bronze or contours, and the blushes. So this one is in the shade Rose Quartz. Westman Atelier, it, it, the, it is gray versus the contour stick that was the black packaging. So let's swatch. So here is Rose Quartz. Okay, and then petal. Wow. Wow, I did that. Yeah, <laughs> I took my time and tried to match them. Let me just swatch Jojo because I don't know, I felt like it was worth a shot. The OG Rose Quartz and the Westman Atelier petal and Dodo. Dodo is definitely darker and Petal is a lot lighter. They both, yeah, they're both close, comparable. <laughs> I'm going to apply the blush heavily to the back of my hand, like so. This is just my preferred method of application. I think it just looks the best on the skin because of the flush that it gives. So I've applied it to the back of the hand. I'm now going to go in with the brush, pick it up. And what this is going to do is it's going to evenly distribute it all over the brush so that when I go in and put it on the skin, it just super soft flush. And it's not overpowering. It's really soft and pretty. Go in with a little bit more. And that's also what I really like using this method is I can control how much blush I get because sometimes I get a little heavy handed with my blush. Um, yeah, so I just like doing it this way. <laughs> Pretty, right? I love this color. This is a really great color melds into your skin beautifully. Such a big deal. I'm just gonna go on with Dodo. So I'm gonna put Dodo and hand, and then I go in with the brush, pick it up. The Baby Cheeks blush stick give a healthy flush of color in just one swipe. They're hydrating with a natural finish. That one layer is pretty, but I want more. So I'm gonna put some more. Just has melted into the skin to the point where you can't tell where blush, bronzer, everything is just a smooth meld on your skin. The highlighting portion. This is the highlighting stick, the lit up highlighting stick. 
And again, for OG, all of their contour bronzer, blush, and highlighting products are called the Sculpted Face Stick. So here is the OG highlighter and the Westman Atelier highlighter. So the Westman Atelier highlighter does have the, wait, let me turn it around, have the contour stick packaging. This is the shade Lit. I'm always almost out of this thing. <laughs> this one, it's clear looking, but it has a bit of an iridescent to it. So the OG highlighter, I have it in the shade Opal. The Lit, I felt was going to be the closest. So let's swatch and see. I haven't swatched to see to find out. So here is Opal. Wow. Wow. This opal, it's pulling a little bit more silver versus lit. It has a bit of like a pink. It's got silver too, but it's a little bit different undertone wise. So I'm going to use my finger. Just love the way it looks on the skin that way. I just tap it. The Lit Up Highlighting Stick is a multitasking gel highlighter for facial fresh clarity and a glassy finish. Your skin is like glass. It's gorgeous. Look at the skin. Look at juicy, juicy, juicy. Oh. All right, let me clean my hands so that we can do the OG side. And I am going to do it the exact same way. I'm going to pick it up on my hand. And let's apply. about skin oh my goodness <laughs> if this is too much glow for you you can totally take it down I'll show that to you in a second but let's get close Westman Atelier OG my complexion is definitely nice and hydrated and it's gonna give you that just healthy skin kind of glow and I think it that's beautiful but I know not all of us want that now what you can do is you can set this with a very finely milled very light layer of powder to set everything in place but not take away completely from your glow so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set one side and show you what it would look like. And I'm gonna go in with my Westman Atelier Vital Skin Care Powder, and this time I'm gonna use the shade Translucent on the Westman Atelier side, of course. So, just light dusting. And as you can see, it doesn't completely take away from the shine and glow on the skin, but it takes it down quite a bit. I mean, yeah, hello, definitely. I'm gonna do a quick little something on the eyes, put something on the lips, and then we'll have a little chat, yeah? <laughs> Do you have a side that you prefer? Do you prefer the Westman Atelier side or do you prefer the OG Luxury Cosmetics side? Comment below. I personally enjoy both lines. Westman Atelier delivers that luxurious, clean beauty experience that's going to give you easy makeup to enhance you that's just so foolproof. OG Cosmetics gives you that clean beauty, effortless, easy, luxurious experience as well. The products are very easy to work with. They look beautiful on the skin. A product that I much more prefer in Westman Atelier over OG is going to be the highlighting product. I just find the glow that the lit up stick from Westman Atelier gives to be a bit superior, honestly. I do really like the sculpting contouring 
product from OG just a little bit more than the Westman Atelier. I feel this one blends just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit, because the Westman Atelier one is great too, but I do find this one from OG. I find that I like the color on my skin tone and the blend just a little bit, just a little bit better. <laughs> So those are a couple of products that I prefer one over the other from the lines. But let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Which one are you leaning towards? Foundation week continues. All things complexion week continues. So make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss out. I'll see you tomorrow as we continue. Don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful, guys. I'll see you soon tomorrow. <laughs> Bye!